This is the Be Energy Wear podcast. Hi, and welcome to the Be Energy Wear podcast. I'm your host, Bran Katanik. Let's keep in touch on Instagram at Be Energy Wear or through our website, BeEnergyWear.com. Please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Thank you so much. Empowered by being aware of energy in day-to-day life, making empowering decisions and thriving, consciously creating with the help of meditation, self-healing, creativity, and expression. Being aware of our emotional and mental energy, as well as the energy that surrounds us in our day-to-day life, enables us to make empowering decisions, using our intuition and trusting ourselves when making those decisions help us to create a much better life. It's about empowerment and about thriving. What do I mean when I say being aware of energy? For those who are tuning in for the first time, there's the energy of our thoughts and the energy of our emotions. And there's also the energy of our environment. We need to be aware of what energy we bring and what kind of energy surrounds us. And then we need to know how to best deal with both. We also need to know how to use all that to heal ourselves. Why? So that we can function at our optimum and live the best life possible. And that's exactly why on this podcast we talk about meditation, self-healing, creativity, and expression. All of which deepen our awareness and bring about a profound healing. Now on to today's theme. Maybe you've heard the saying that goes, God is in the details. I have to say that it can really pay off to pay attention to the little things in everyday life when it comes to just about anything. I used to think that what's required to notice the little things is patience and an eye for detail. But today, I know that it's actually about being peaceful inside and also about being present and maybe even about not being so hard on ourselves all the time, which so many people are used to doing. If we rush ourselves, we miss out on so much more that we would otherwise receive. And sometimes all we are missing is a little bit of curiosity to learn more about something. That something can be the computer we are using, the car that we are driving, and so on or to learn a bit more about ourselves and about how we communicate, how we are being perceived, why we do the things we do, and so on. Another great way to start noticing more is to make time to just sit and observe. If we teach ourselves to observe and take notes, we might be surprised at how much we can actually see and learn just by watching. Sometimes no explanation is needed. As we watch, we just get it. Slowing down is a good idea, but sometimes we do need to do a lot. Sometimes it is time to take action. And when doing so, we have an advantage of seeing more even when we're going at a faster pace. But only if we'd previously been taking things slowly and watching, observing, and taking notes. This is not just about noticing when someone unknowingly drops something like their wallet, their keys, or their hat, and then letting them know about it. It's also about saving someone's life when they're about to get hit by a car, as well as doing the same kind of thing for ourselves, where we actually spot danger from a mile away, which gives us time to avoid it. And it doesn't have to be this serious. It can also be useful for improving efficiency of our daily tasks, but only in the context of long-term thinking, meaning it isn't necessarily about getting more results sooner, but about doing the right thing and doing it properly, and being methodical about it, which brings better and better results as time goes by. I think, first of all, that we owe it to ourselves to learn more about ourselves. Little more knowledge and careful consideration can go a long way. So let's observe ourselves and notice the little things about us. And let's pay more attention to the little things in general, 
and use them to our benefit and for the benefit of others. Let me know what you think about all this. Message me on Instagram at BeEnergyWare or leave a comment. You can also get in touch through my website, BeEnergyWare.com. And I would also appreciate if you leave a review on Apple Podcasts and if you share this podcast with your friends. And if you want to reap the benefits from observing and learning about yourself, then get my audiobook, Get Empowered, or sign up for my mentorship. Take good care, and I'll talk to you next time.